So this right here is going to be perverts are destroying the youth part two. Now, I just seen on, <clears throat> I just seen on this news channel where this guy, this guy was hired to clean the attic or like the piping of a home. And he didn't clean it right. Like he didn't clean it well. So he cleaned it at like a 50% job. So everything was still kind of dirty. And so they were recording the guy while he was cleaning the piping. And on his phone, he was literally watching like girls. He was looking at like naked girls on his phone. And he couldn't even do a good job. He was cleaning pipes and he couldn't do a good job because he was too busy looking at naked girls on his phone. Now think about this. What if that was your what if that was your house, right? What if that was your house? So you have the guy who claims he's gonna clean up in your house and he's laying down on his phone looking at girls. And he did like a 50% job. Now compare that to like the 1980s, right? Where they had to come in, they had to do a good job because they wasn't, they couldn't pick up a phone and like look at some naked girls. That's why they would do a good job. They didn't have time to look at naked girls. So now you have this guy whose brain is fucked up. He did a bad job. And now he's on the news because he was looking at naked girls on his phone. So he's on the news looking at, like, girls on the phone getting caught. <laughs> like I'm like, wow, like, dudes are literally addicted to looking at girls on their phone. I'm like, wow. I'm like, no wonder so many girls are just, like, monetized, right? I guess you could call it. Because they don't have to do anything. I'm like, man, wow, like are people are guys like that low? They didn't he didn't even clean the piping right. I'm like, wow, I'm like, whoa. So that made me even think about like, okay. I don't I don't mind li- being a millionaire living in a small room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If people are going to be that like perverted to where you don't even clean a piping because you're looking at a phone. It's like, I don't want to deal with nobody who's going to do something like that. Cause I'll end up like, <laughs> I'll be like, I'm going to be like, bro, you a pervert. <laughs> being you fired on a job for being a pervert. Crazy. That's crazy. And I know this has to be a reality like worldwide. I'm pretty sure this is a reality. Because like I said, I used to work for an escort agency. So I know, I know like the perv activity is out of this world. That's why girls are so egotistical nowadays. They're looking at you like I have like a thousand DMs in my phone and you're looking in front of me and she's just listening to what you're saying. But in the back of her mind, she knows like, what are you going to say that I haven't heard before? Like, how can you interest me that the thousand guys in my phone are not saying, right? It's crazy. It's amazing how like women have so much power just just off of their looks. They don't have to do anything. They don't need no skills. They don't need anything. Like there's no mistakes behind what they do. That's another reason women are monetized because there's no mistake in what they can do. Like the mistake is they're putting the mistake like a woman who's monetized through her body, she puts the mistake in your favor. Like, it's up to you to make the mistake because she can't make any. She looks good. There's no mistake to be made. <laughs> like, she 
she doesn't have to know. She can be like four plus four is six and be completely wrong. And you'll be like, no, it's eight. And she'll be like, yeah, it is eight. <laughs> you know, but deep in her mind, she's like, it's, even if it's six, I don't care. I'm still correct. And there's no there's no penalty because you you she's still going to get the same thing from you. So who cares if she's wrong, right? There's no mistake. <laughs> so they're pretty much betting. They're pretty much betting on that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, I think it's... But it. the thing is, the thing is with me is like, I think about like work ethic. Like a man to me, the work ethic is your... It's your power like a man's work ethic is his superpower to me like your ability to read a book and maneuver on the world and like develop your power through that over time like if you if you develop your power from like six years old all the way to 60 like by the time you're 60 you're going to be like a monster if you just focus on skill set every single day, like every single day from like eight to 60. But if you're just a pervert, then you're just going to be an old pervert. Like you don't really like take that guy, for example, like he he halfway clean because he's a pervert. Like if he put if he put his skill and his manhood before being a pervert, then he would have just cleaned those ducks like efficiently and walked out. Like, yeah, that's easy. And then he would have walked out because he's putting that skill set over being a pervert. But once you're a pervert, you, you're, you're escaping into the woman's world. It's like you're not bringing her into your world of skill set. You're, you're going into her world of perversion. And it's like, oh, that's why I'm, that's why I'm not big on like strip club, like because a strip club is like as soon as you're walking in, you're like, you might as well just have pervert written across your forehead. It's like, oh, a pervert. Oh, it's a new pervert. Oh, there's another pervert. Oh, this pervert. This pervert has money. Oh, he's he has money, but he doesn't want to spend it. So why is he here? Because he's a pervert, but he's acting like he's not. But he don't want to spend, or maybe he's he's not as much of a pervert as he wanted to be. But maybe, like you know, what I'm saying, like the stigma of even walking into a strip club is like you might as well just have pervert right written right across your forehead as soon as you walk in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and then it's like not only are you a pervert, but you're a pervert who's willing to spend money. On perversion. And it's like. I don't know. Like like I said. I guess it's. I guess it's a man rewarding himself. In that essence. But. I feel like the grind is more important than all of that. Like. What you get from the grind. Is more beautiful than. A woman. Like. Me. Being better than, like, 10 times better than I was last week feels better than a beautiful woman. Like, because, like, a beautiful woman is just like, she's she's here and it's like, she's just sitting there. She's like, yeah, you're beautiful. And it's like, but what I can do is, like, it's like, it's, it's irreplaceable. <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. Beauty is replaceable. Like it's replaceable. It's it's more replaceable. That's what men. A lot of men they fuck up because it's like your skill set is not is more valuable than the beauty because the beauty is replaceable. But a woman knows her beauty is replaceable. That's why. To rely on it. She relies on it. So she's like, okay, I know he can get this here. She can get this here. So 
I'm just going to play my bets on myself. And that's okay too, but at least the acknowledgement is if the if the exchange is that your skill set is, is less replaceable than her beauty, then that's a reward. But if you're a pervert, then you have no skill set. So now you have to be a simp. Like you have to be like, oh, she's beautiful and she's this. And, because your skill set doesn't override what she is. So there's no mirror effect. Like she's not looking at you like, okay, yeah. I see why he wouldn't value my beauty as much. Because look at what he can do in compared to my beauty. Like he doesn't need beauty because what he's doing outshines my beauty. Like I'm born with this. He's not born with what he has. He had to develop that. So now there's a sense of respect. But if it's just, oh my God, you're beautiful, blah, blah. And then she looks at you like, what do you do? And you're like, I don't know, you're just beautiful. And then she's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, it's like crazy. So then people wonder why the women are like, that's why. Like, even if you, like, a woman posts a picture, right? Like, a guy could post, like, oh, I just finished, I just finished, like, military school or some shit that took him, like, four years to complete. Like, he sat in a room all day. He had to do push-ups for, like, like 60 push-ups a day, right? For, like, four years straight or some shit. He had to, you know, he had to be disciplined. And he's like, oh, I graduated military school. That shit get like 40 likes. And then a girl's like, post a picture of her feet or some shit. That shit get like 10,000 likes. It's like, oh my God, your toes are beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh my goodness. Then he like, that's why shit is fucked up. That's why TikTok can put LBGT as a trending hashtag. And you got dudes just turning into fucking... Bitches, pretty much. Like, it's, dudes are literally turning into bitches out of comfort, like, to me. I feel like a guy who turns into a woman is, like, he's looking for acknowledgement without putting in the work. So he's trying to get the benefit of a woman. Because being a man is too fucking difficult. That's pretty much what's happening. Because being a man is hard. Like, you have to work. You have to be skilled. You got to work every day. You got to build muscle and you have to build your brain at the same time. Like, that shit is hard. That's hard. And you got to do this shit over time. You got to do it for a good 20 or 30 years before you're successful at something. Or you can just be like, fuck it, I'm going to go buy a wig and, like, get the benefits of a woman who can just take a selfie. Like, that's easier. <laughs> that's easier, you know? That's why it's easy to sell that. Like, it's easy to sell that, like, as a from a government perspective. It's like, okay, these guys, they want to become girls. Fuck it. Give them fucking pension or whatever, and we take a percentage. All right, that's easy. Sell it. All right, boom. <laughs> Sign a document. Boom. All right. Now we got fucking transsexual rights or whatever. Boom. You make the money. And that's, what, that's pretty much what's happening. God, that's what I see. I mean, me being a business guy, that's just what I see from a government perspective, of course, because I'm not the government. I'm just going by like a evil person who was on the top of people and knowing people's psychology and having that much power. Like, what would the result be if I could control these people based on their actions and, like, statistics and shit and emotional, <laughs> it's all, that, all that shit. It's just crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, but that's, that's part two. A perverse killing the youth. Don't be a pervert.